In the U.S., the state of Maryland has declared an emergency. It follows an incident that looks more like a Hollywood stunt. You have to see it to believe it. This is what happened in Baltimore. A ship struck a bridge. The bridge snapped and collapsed. Reports say the ship was manned entirely by a crew of Indians. Now, none of the crew members were injured, but the, vehicle, the vehicles and people on the bridge were plunged into the water. Reports say at least 20 people fell into the water. Two survivors have been pulled out. One of them is in a serious condition. Authorities are calling it a mass casualty event. Our next report tells you more. At around 1.30 a.m. today, according to Eastern Daylight Time, an unlikely catastrophe struck Baltimore in the U.S. state of Maryland. A 948-foot container ship struck the Francis Scott Key Bridge. This is a major bridge in Baltimore. It is 2.57 kilometers long and stands on the Patapsco River. Upon collision, the bridge snapped and collapsed. At least 20 people and several vehicles were plunged into the river. Meanwhile, the ship caught fire sending plumes of thick smoke into the air. So far, two people have been rescued. One of them is in critical condition. Emergency services are calling this a mass casualty event, and Maryland has declared a state of emergency. We're basically searching for, for everyone that was potentially on the bridge. The Coast Guard's primary mission right now is search and rescue, looking for any survivors in the water. We're working with numerous federal, state and local partners on scene on these search and rescue efforts. This disaster may be the worst U.S. bridge collapse since 2007. That's when the I-35W bridge in Minneapolis collapsed into the Mississippi River, killing 13. Many are still unable to grasp the scale of this event. I really ran and looked. <laughs> I went over there and sure as anything, it was gone. The whole bridge was just like, there was nothing there. And I started recording. I was like, I can't believe this. Question is, how did it happen? According to the White House, there was no indication of nefarious intent. According to Maryland Governor Wes Moore, the ship had lost power. The crew lost control. They alerted authorities about it and issued a mayday request. But around the same time, the ship collided with the bridge. It's likely that um, significant investigation will need to take place on what, on what remains. Um, rebuilding will take a long time. But other than the investigation and search and rescue, there's another major problem at hand. We're losing a very main port for our transportation, our distribution, all of it. Like, I'm worried about how people are going to be getting food, <laughs> water, because trucks for transport or like um, cargo delivery trucks, they, they take the key bridge every day. There's hundreds of them on the bridge every day. Port Baltimore is one of the busiest U.S. ports. It is the busiest for car shipments. After the accident, it has been closed. This threatens to disrupt supplies of goods, from cars to coal, and even basic commodities like sugar. This is bound to increase delays and costs. This incident is as rare as it is shocking. Singapore, where the vessel was registered, will also launch an investigation into the ship. And while foul play has been ruled out, there are still many unanswered questions as to what caused this accident and whether it could have been avoided.